liquid. Are you sure? Thanks, Llama Llama. Kilroy. <laughs> Just playing. How's it going over here? Good. I think we've all picked out our pumpkins. Look, I found Twinkins. Let's see yours. Good choices, everyone. I'm so excited for Halloween tomorrow, and I have so many things I want to do. Make the perfect costume, make pumpkin pie, see the full moon from a hill, and some other things. Do you guys have any things you want to do? Just the usual. Make a costume, go pumpkin bowling, find a witch's broom, go through a corn maze, then a candy maze, then build a Halloween candy mountain. I want to go on a spooky skateboard ride and make a really scary haunted house. I will carve perfect pumpkins and would love to go on a hay ride. I just want to make the perfect costume. Perhaps see a parade. Hmm, how are we going to fit all these activities in? Well, I know there are a few things we all want to do, like pumpkin carving. And picking out a costume. Why don't we do those things together? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looks like you all are just about finished drawing. Looking good. All right, kids, time to scoop out the goop. I've got this. Oh, goop soup. Come on, scoop the goop. After the goop is gone, I'll help you carve your pumpkin's faces. Whoa. Ah, cool. Great job, kiddos. Now the pumpkins can be displayed on Halloween night. What are we going to do next? Look for costumes? Let's do it! <laughs> hmm. I'm still not sure what I want to be. <laughs> Sometimes when you don't know what you do want, it's helpful to start by figuring out what you definitely don't want. Well, I definitely don't want to be a bee, a farmer, or an astronaut. Maybe you could be a train? Or a banana! All right, guys, this has been fun, but I need to go. I've got a lot on my long list to get ready by tomorrow. Me too! Do you guys need to do everything on your lists? Yes! But we're still doing Halloween Day together, right? Yes, Llama Llama! Mama, I've so much left to do. I'm still not done sewing my costume. And I have no idea where I'm going to get a tractor for a hayride. Or hay. Hey, guys, can you help me with my spooky skateboard course? <sighs> I'm almost half of halfway done with my list. And yeah, some of my corn maze isn't technically corn. Yeesh, I have an enormous amount of work to do by tomorrow. Like all of us. Yeah. Hmm. I'm worried we won't be able to do all of the things on everyone's lists. Llama Llama may be right. Halloween is only one day, and it could take a week to do all of the things we're all trying to do. What about dropping some things off of our lists so we can still do everything together? I'll do that. I could let a few things go. I really don't want to take anything off. Come on, Gilroy. Do you want to be together on Halloween or not? Mm. So, how are we going to figure out which things to do and which things not to do? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> Sounds good. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay, I'm crossing Hayride off my list. That actually makes things a lot easier. Now I just have to finish my costume. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. 
No scary haunted house this year. Oh, well. No full moon from Waterview Hill. <sighs> Do I have to? Uh, oh, okay. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. No corn maze. I guess that's okay. a long list of things to do next year. Well done. I'm so proud of you all for compromising. What's that? Huh? Uh -huh. Well, each of you has agreed to take some activities off your list so that everyone can do something they're excited about. Do you mind if I take a look at your original lists? I've got a fun idea. Sure. Great. I'll meet all of you here tomorrow at 4 p.m. sharp. But first, I've got to go. I've got a few calls to make. Oh, what's happening at 4 p.m.? I guess you'll just have to wait and see. Happy Halloween, everybody! Great costume! Thank, Thank you. you! I'm dressed as my great-great-grandma. Nice! I wonder where Euclid is. He should be here by now. Euclid's still working on his costume. He said he'd meet up with us a little later. So, ready to trick or treat? spare parts from other projects and made many measurements to create the perfect equilateral pyramid. Great costume! All aboard the Halloween Hayride! Yay! No way! A real hayride? It was on my long list. Thanks, Grandma Llama. We know how hard you worked, and each of you gave up things from your list. So we grown-ups whipped up a few Halloween surprises as a reward. scared of spooky things, too. But my mama always reminds me that no matter how scary things can be on Halloween, they're not real. They're just pretend. Thanks, Llama Llama. That makes me feel somewhat better. Okay, I'll try. It's just me! <gasps> <laughs> Officer Flamingo! You were a good ghost. I loved it! Oh, I was definitely scared. I wasn't scared at all. I would go in again. Really? really? Yeah. I'm not scared of ghosts. Scientifically speaking, they aren't solid matter. <laughs> <laughs> a parade? That was on my list! for everyone. Thanks, Daddy Mew! All aboard the Halloween Hayride! There's one more surprise left. No way! I wanted to ride a witch's broom! This is amazing! Whoa! It's just like flying! <laughs> Mama Llama, look up! Woohoo! <laughs> We're getting to see the full moon! As I'm riding on a witch's broom! <laughs> <laughs> Mama, Graham, Grandpa, thank you so much for this 
Amazing Halloween! Thank you! Best Halloween ever! Mama, now it's your turn to ride the broom. You think so? All right. Go, Mama Llama! Go, Mama Llama! Happy Halloween, everyone! Congratulations, you found your first clue. See if you can figure it out. Hmm. To find the golden wristband, the twisty maze should start your plan. Oh! Oh! It's like the twisty maze made out of corn from Story Island. Hmm. But where can we find it? Maybe this sticker will show us. Look at the picture. This looks like your grandma and grandpa's house. Yeah! You're right, Professor Beatrice. Let's go! Hi, Grim. Hi, Grandpa. We're Billy and Millie Scarecrow. From Story Island. Billy and Millie. Then that must be the Twisty Maze. Oh! Hmm. Which way should we go? That oh. way! <laughs> Think about the book. Wait. In the book, it said to find the clues... Line up the shoes! That's it, Professor. We start here. Look, another clue! Good eyes, Professor. And now it's time to eat. That was a good dinner, Graham. And all cooked in our outdoor oven. Wait, is it darker? Hmm. Hmm. It is. It's almost nighttime. Don't worry, Nellie. We're still here together. We'll be brave together. Nellie, look around and remember that the biggest change at night is it'll be darker. But the same stuff is here, just a few different sounds. But no light. We have a big fire. And some lamps. <laughs> but you could. There's no electricity out here. You can't plug a lamp into a tree. <laughs> well, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> of who, who, who wants some dessert before bedtime. I do! I do. Oh, what fun to roast marshmallows under the stars at night. <laughs> I forgot we were outside. <sighs> but we are, and it's pretty dark. Yeah, it is. But it's okay. The same stuff is around us from when the sun was out. Remember? <laughs> I believe Mrs. Owl said, hoo, 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 time to go into the tent and get ready to sleep. I promise you warm sleeping bags. Okay, into the tent we go. A moon roof. So cool! I still don't think I can sleep with all the sounds from outside. You can, Nellie. Huh? You're brave. Will listening to music help? And I have alarm clocks to wake us up in the morning. Two alarm clocks? <laughs> <laughs> you brought a lot of gadgets, Euclid. Actually, we have music right outside. Let's listen closely to the sounds and think of them as music. It's nature's big symphony. I hear a cricket. <laughs> I hear. <laughs> and. <laughs> it sounds like they're all talking to each other. Good night. <laughs> hmm. My cot is squeaky. And lumpy. Mine too. 
Maybe we should switch. <laughs> I almost forgot. We can't go to sleep until we do our monster check. Monster check? It's easy. We count to three, then look under our beds to make sure there aren't any monsters. One, two, three, monster check! Boo! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're monster free. But I'm lucky. I always have Blobby to keep me safe during the night. And I have my Fuzzy at home. Right, Euclid? Euclid? <laughs> we did our monster check, but I forgot about my silly brother. I have a monster swamp now. You should be very scared. Roar! <laughs> <laughs> okay, lights out. Monsters too. Your family's funny. <laughs> I know. That's why I like them. Hey, look, shadows. Those look like clouds. There's a funny shaped ruler. <laughs> and look, that one looks just like Officer Flamingo! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what, what is that light? Those lights are the fireflies. Oh, you're right, you could. <laughs> They're not monsters. Who saw that? Not me. <laughs> <laughs> the window. And you're not sc scared? Nope. There are so many interesting sounds here. A tick-tocking clock, birds, Gilroy's snores. So interesting. Don't you think? Llama Llama? tissues for my <laughs> allergies. I'm okay. Achoo. I didn't think you were a monster or anything. Achoo. Actually, I'm the allergy monster. <laughs> I don't think I can sleep. Maybe we should do what we do at home to get to sleep. Count sheep. Okay. One Euclid, two Euclids, three Euclids, four Euclids. Uh, uh, guys? 